ஆடுபில் செக் பண்ண சொல்லுங்க கேக்குதா யா பிகாஸ் சம் அதர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ சிட்டிங் இன் சம் அதர் பிளேஸ் தி ஆர் ஆல்சோ வாட்சிங் திஸ் கனி ஹவ் லெட் இட் கோ ஐ ஆம் ஸ்பீக்கிங் அபவுட் த ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆப்ஷனல்ஸ் வை வி ஹாவ் டு சூஸ் எக்ஸெட்ரா so in the past optionals played a very important role before 10 years we had two optionals and one gs paper each and every optional had in the past time speaking before 10 years back for example we had one optional one we had optional two then we had general studies then we had essay okay optional one two paper optional two two paper general studies two paper essay one paper total how many papers seven correct today also we are having the same seven but the same but except this optional 2 is removed in the place gs has been added okay now instead of just these two gs papers they had said gs1 they had said gs2 then they had said gs3 then gs4 gs4 so in the present trend ps is contributing to so much mark in the past for each and every paper for example if there is one optional we had in the past 600 marks paper one paper two now what they have said they have reduced the marks also so for each and every optional which has got two papers paper one paper two each how many marks are 250 250 gs four papers 250 250 250 and 250 this is 1000 1000 thousand mark this one this is 500 okay optional now it is 500 gs 1000 essay again same equal to one paper which is 250 you understand in the past the preparation mains preparation was more oriented about optionals if you are strong in your optionals there is more possibility that you will end up getting in service today also optional plays a very crucial role no doubt about it but how much role you have to know that much role is this much role optional okay so of total seven papers two papers contribute to optional four paper contribute to gs one paper for essay you understand this Now what is that I am telling? Is among this why we have to choose history as an optional history. When I say history as an optional, what is that I mean? First, what is the what are the compositions of the history as an optional? We will see. Then we will see whether history as an optional is advantages or disadvantages. That. <coughs> Now you see, in history we have two papers. Paper one, paper two we have in history. In these two papers. and each and every paper can be divided into section a section b it can be divided for example paper 1 we have section a paper 1 we have section b again in paper 2 we have section a and section b okay normally there is to be eight questions which are it will be asked eight four in section a four in section b 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You understand? Among them, question number one, question number five are compulsory questions. One, compulsory questions. Now, when I say paper one, section A means it is just ancient India. When I say section, I mean paper one, section B. is medieval india when i say paper 2 section a means modern and section b is world first we'll understand something about this first when i say ancient india it means 99.9 percentage questions from only ancient india used to come here when i say medieval india 99.9 percentage i am sure questions from medieval india only used to come this division is not there in any other optionals 
in any other options in paper 1 they give syllabus paper 1 so questions from anywhere can appear in any sections sometimes question from here can go in section a from question from the first unit may go to the section uh, may b like this it will happen but in history that doesn't happen that means what that means if i am strong in any one area maybe ancient india or medieval india i can attempt to more questions for example i said actually you have to attempt five questions out of the eight questions five questions you have to attempt okay if i am very strong in ancient india i can attempt three questions here this question is compulsory one more questions i can attempt maybe i can attempt eight questions if i am very strong in ancient india if i am strong in medieval india three questions i can take here two i can take there similarly it goes here also if i am very strong in modern india maximum questions that is three questions i can attempt in any one section and purely questions of modern india only is going to be asked here world history questions are not going to be asked in here in this part okay this clear cut division is one advantage we are having one advantage is what this clear cut division the world history question would not be asked in section paper 2 section a it would not be asked <clears throat> if you are very strong in world history you can attempt three questions in this part okay so it helps you to put your energy and time in any one area where you are familiar with because out of all the eight questions you are not supposed to write eight questions you are going to write only five big questions but of course this five questions are also subdivided into many questions for example question number one question number two three here we are having the third question may be means one two three sub it will be three questions that is not only for history option now it is for every option that is how the questions have been changing so i am telling that if you are strong in any one area you can attempt all those questions in that area okay that is a point so this is one thing which you must know and in history optional there is one more thing of advantage which you are having is that one i said uh, proper division proper division number two in history optional there is another thing which is called a syllabus optional syllabus is equal to gs syllabus how see ancient india we are having this ancient india is already you are studying for the preliminary even if you are not taking history as an optional you have to read ancient india for your gs preparation okay for preliminary you are reading this as an ancient india for mains you are reading this as culture okay for gs i am telling similarly ancient and medieval also same and for information world history questions this questions have been already put in mains paper one sometimes they ask questions sometimes they don't ask this year last year i was told that not even a question was asked so you will not read world history this year but they are going to put more questions next year in world history understand but world history is added as an part of your gs1 preparation means general studies paper 1 general studies paper 1 world is world history has become a compulsory part so world history also you have to read modern india again you have to read for preliminary again for mains also general studies you would read modern india so if i look very clearly which is uh, the way I look, if you do the whole GS syllabus properly, optional syllabus, 50 percentage or 60 percentage is done. If you read only GS properly, optional syllabus is already done. Then what is the difference between GS preparation and optional preparation? There is a slight difference. GS superficial knowledge will be sufficient. Optional slightly a more knowledge is necessary, a better understanding is necessary for optional. Okay, so the point here is optionals. What we have to do is we have to slightly go deeper. We should know how to write an answer. Slight understanding more is needed. You understand something? So, second aspect. Third aspect uh, advantage uh, is that uh, you have a question which is called a map question here. Map. This first question is a map question. First question is a map question in paper one. Paper one optional. The first question is a map question. For many people, it is a disadvantage. For us, it is an advantage. Because you see, I am a bit strong in map. So I have not only means uh, developed a mechanism to devise a strategy to do, do the map. I have also published a book 
which is called simply map map book i have means not in this optional map book i have published i think you would have got it some people might be having it that book if you do properly it covers the total with the one it covers and most important of all as far as a map question is concerned you get maximum marks in a map question in average question if you write well in an average question if you write well for example for 50 marks in any one question maximum mark which you get will be around 25 if it is divided into 3 so the 50 mark will be break ma is divided into 15 15 20 this is how division is being done 50 mark question is divided into 3 15 mark question another 15 mark question another 20 mark question but map question is all just only one question the advantage in map question is that you are in the map can go to another 10 question 10 marks more provided you do the map question properly you mean exactly you know what is the location being asked and give the write up properly which is like a question known to us it is like a 12th standard the 12th standard what we are given you are given question paper you are told to mug it up then finally when the examination comes some of the points are same questions are coming you are writing so map is like this why map is like this because i have given a location of around 350 locations i have given all the locations which has already been asked in upsc i have myself in uh, charted down uh, we have arranged the locations based on the frequency of the times it is being asked there are some locations which are asked eight times you must know eight time get a location is there and eight time get a location la nam eldiya chadala we have put all these locations so around 350 locations i myself had uh, means given a word and how the maps has to be marked everything is will be told to you but the book will be self sufficient for you you need not have to buy any other xyz books <clears throat> okay so that is one advantage which we have so map plus because map is scoring okay map question is an advantage because map is scoring third if i mean fourthly if you see whole history as an optional it is highly static static subject static subject means it doesn't change unlike any other optional maybe for example public, public administration a new uh, constitutional uh, some discussion is happening something is happening current affairs has to be constantly updated as far as history is concerned if you read the optional once properly that's it you need not have to fo focus about any other thing about the option is concerned if you do the optional once properly i think no more reading is needed about the optional for many times to come but you have to read it once properly so ist option is highly static so that advantage we are having because from the time i read my optional till today there is no change in ist option no change only one change instead of previously they used to ask 50 more question one question now they are divided into three I means three questions yeah whatever it is we can manage that three questions okay so the static nature of the option is one advantage which you should know because we need not have to update okay you need not have to uh, keep constantly keep on searching for material whatever it is whatever material i have given that will be sufficient purilamma next fifth now you see history option has advantage not only for the gs subject every year you should be having some essay topics i do not know whether you seen the essay topics among the essay topics there are topics which are purely history which is coming culture which is coming quotes of gandhi ji also which is coming we have seen in the past about gandhi ji will be reading about personality about philosophy which is somehow linked to history and about questions related to culture indian culture okay about all these things are coming in essay topic which is going to help if you are an history option student the essay topic can be properly handled properly handled with the information which you are having about history moreover directly you are reading this history optional it will is it is going to help you you are understanding this so that's also an advantage for this and again interview i need not how to say about anything about the interview a in person who has studied history optional is always placed higher in a level of understanding in a level of grasp up of the things around there is going to be a difference between a person who studied history how he is grasping a subject the person who is a non history student how he is grasping a subject the this is going to be different you believe it or what you will understand this ma history purinja orthanuko avan paakara paarvayam history puriyada orthanum padikada orthanum paakara paarva veru padudunu ungalku theriyuma nu ketta 
Do you know that is going to be different? A person who has studied history, he knows what is happening. He has understood why a problem is happening in a very deep sense. Remember deep sense level, on all the purjy Illa abdi na, he can superficially see the problems. So when you are answering a question, the answer and the depth of your understanding decides the mark in the interview. In the interview, it is not a question and answer session. They do not ask you a question. You don't give you a factual answer. That's not how the interview is working. The interview works on the fundamental principle of your basic understanding, how you make judgments, how you make decisions, what are your opinions. And these things, your judgments, decisions, opinions will be crystal clear without any biasness if you properly understand the history. History purila, so, history is highly essential. Ma. It is essential to study the history. When you study the history, it not only helps in general studies, it helps in essay, it also helps in the interview. Purinchila, next, another important thing. As far as history is concerned, there is a big myth which is circulated by many people, I don't know. You know the meaning of myth, I think. It is a false image or a false perception which is being spread is that the subject is very bulky. You have to read large. There is so much uh, which has to be accumulated. It's not truth. It is not a fact. Because for ancient India, there is only just two basic books which you have to read, which already you are going to read anyhow for GS. Those material you read for GS, the same material you are going to read for optional. Plus, I will give some additionally some material for the class for a better, deeper understanding. Plus my class. So my class, basic material which you already read for GS, plus my class notes, whatever I am speaking in the class, how I am telling the points. That only if you note, that will be sufficient for history. You need not have to buy any other big, big books because many students used to say, Sir, I bought that book because people are coming from one place to another place. People are coming already who have done optionals also to me. Then they say, Sir, my score is not increasing. And I ask, What are you reading? They say, Sir, I have read that big book. This big. I said, You will not increase. If you are reading all these big, big books, the option scores are not going to increase. Because what is going to happen? You are not going to, you are not able to write a simple answer. The UPSC, when you have to write the biggest question, is 20 mark question. You can write the UPSC, 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 you can write the 20 mark question means approximately 11 minutes. In 11 minutes, how many pages you are going to write? 11 minutes? 3 pages maybe? Some people will write 4 pages, 3 pages, 3 pages, 3 pages. In the 3 pages, you can write the analysis of the UPSC. How much analysis are you capable of giving in this three minutes, four minutes, means uh, three page, four and a half minutes, four page, whatever it is? How much analysis you can give? So I will restrict you in reading only that much which is required for the examination. That is what I am going to do. So my uh, major uh, job is going to be, I am going to restrict you to read only that much which is being asked in the examination. If you want to go deep into any one area, I will say, please don't go because it is not necessary. That is one part of my, my teaching also. What? I will tell you not to go any deep into some topics which you will try to go sometimes. In our topic, we will all of you doing it. And we will send it. Then we will tell you that we will not be able to do it. 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 So, I am very careful, I am very cautious. I know I will restrict the materials to you. Each and every material which is being given in the class is personally means prepared under my own means own vision, means own guidance. I see each and every material, I read materials. Whatever materials I am giving as a printout in the class is sufficient, is 100% sufficient. Whatever I am speaking in the class, whatever you are taking as a notes, that is also 100% sufficient. Additionally, fundamental books, basic books we will read. 
more than that sometimes i will give books also i will give not uh, many but a few books i will give that will be more than sufficient for for your history of science puridilla periya periya books thukite and vechikitte three other book ingra anja other book ingra adala onnum thevai kediyadu it's not necessary okay so simple material whatever we do in the class that will be sufficient okay so st has got an advantage of restricting the syllabus also as far as st is concerned safely you can eliminate many topics where questions have not come in the past 20 years next is syllabus scale vechirpinga nanikira 20 varshame kekkada units la nareya kuduthirukken st la indha 20 varshathila oru naalum question adha vandhade kedaiyadhu purinchilla adhella apdi st topic la namu thookiruvom thookitte nama kanna romba focus panni paatha டோட்டலா ஏன்ஷியன்ட் இந்தியாவில் ஒரு பதினஞ்சு டாபிக்ல திருப்பி திருப்பி கொஸ்டின் கேட்டுட்டு இருக்கான் ஹிஸ்ட்ரியில் இன்னொரு பே ஒரு பெரிய அட்வான்டேஜ் இருக்கு கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அப்படியே ரிப்பீட் ஆகிட்டே இருக்கும் ஏன்ஷியன்ட் இந்தியா கொஸ்டின் நீங்க எடுத்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு பதினஞ்சு வருஷம் கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் எடுத்துக்கிட்டீங்கன்னா அதே டாபிக்க திருப்பி 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 கேட்டிருப்பாங்க புரிஞ்சல அதை ஒழுங்கா படிச்சுட்டு போனா சஃபிஷியா இருக்கும் புரிஞ்சல இதெல்லாம் சப்ஜெக்டோட அட்வான்டேஜ் நான் பேசுறது புரிஞ்சு போச்சு இல்லைன்னா திஸ் ஆர் ஆல் அட்வான்டேஜஸ் ஆஃப் த சப்ஜெக்ட் plus there is yet another advantage for the subject as well this subject doesn't require an intelligent person to study arivi jeevi thevil and parcha padi in the subject padikirathukku arivi jeevi la vera option enna chana ponga nam chootra arivi jeevi thevai kedaidhu idhu average student podum arivi jeevi irundana nalladhu dhaan avanum arivi jeevi konjam seegram purinjikuvan average subject purinjikuvan seegram purinchalle amma yen idhil concept e kedaidhu history enna concept irukku podu இரநூறு சொல்லுங்க பார்க்கலாம் என்ன கான்செப்ட் புரிஞ்சிருக்க மாதிரி என்ன வச்சிருக்குதான் எஸ்டியில் பயங்கரமாக ஒரு ஒரு கான்செப்ட் ஏதோ ஃபிசிக்ஸ் கான்செப்ட் மாதிரியோ இல்லை வேற என்னாச்சும் ஆப்ஷனுக்கு இருக்கிற மாதிரி தியரி மாதிரியோ ஏதோ ஜியோ சிங்லைன் தியரி கான்டினென்டல் டிஃப்ட் தியரி ஓகே ரோஸ்டோ மாடல்ஸ் ஆஃப் க்ரோத் வெப்பர்ஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் லொக்கேஷன் தியரி இது என்ன வச்சிருக்குதான் என்ன ஜாகிரஃபி ஆப்ஷன் இருக்கிற மாதிரி உங்களுக்கு தெரியணும் என்னோட ஆப்ஷன் ஜாகிரஃபி கூட நான் ரெண்டு ஆப்ஷன் நான் ஐ ஹவ் டன் டூ ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் வெல் போத் ஆர் ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஒன்லி புரியுதுல்ல அப்படி எதுனாச்சும் பயங்கரமான தியரிட்டிகள் என்னாச்சு இருக்குது ஹிஸ்ட்ரியில் ஒன்றும் தேவையில்லை ஸோ அப்போ தியரி நம்மளுக்கு கிடையாது அடுத்த பாயிண்ட் வருவோம் சார் இதில் நிறைய டயக்ராம்ஸ் எதனா உறைஞ்சி இம்ப்ரெஸ் பண்ண வேண்டிய வேலை எதனாச்சும் இருக்குதா நீங்கள் நல்லா இருந்தால் பரவாயில்ல டயக்ராம் உரைக்கூடியதுன்னா ஓகே நீங்கள் ஏதாச்சும் ஒரு மேப் ட்ரா பண்ணலாம் சால் இட் கன் இட் கேன் ஹெல்ப் யூ பட் தட் இஸ் நாட் சி எ நெசசரி கண்டிஷன் இட் இஸ் நாட் நெசசரி ஃபார் யூ டு ட்ரா டயக்ராம்ஸ் it will be sufficient even without the diagrams it can be done whereas if you take geography as an option of course you have to know to draw some diagrams in the tabulation board no konjam vera mari edhuk preparation irukku but history puruthirukku onnume thevilla diagrams thevilla bayangaramana ungalude means your what to say your concepts nothing of all these sorts is required it is a simple subject it is a very simple subject what has happened what is known what is recorded you will write based on what little you know you analyze all those points you write you get a decent mark in history sir evlo mark vaangalum sir history la 500 ku or 450 mark vaangi vekka mudiyuma neenga vaangi vekka mudiyad 500 ku 450 mark vaangalum nu yarana vandinga na neenga poi vera na option join pannirukku princhu avliya okay yena upsc varalattu la yarume 500 ku 450 mark end option e vaangala princhu la sir appo evlo da mark vaangi veppinga adha na sollunga i will assure you mark sufficient enough for you to get ias and be a topper our students ias topper sir kanga history la evlo mark sir vaangikka mudiyum how much mark is sufficient for you to get means in the present trend how much mark is a decent mark out of 500 in the optional how much mark is a decent mark inga solunga ma romba scale romba solliradinga ma 200 to 400 nu kuda sollanam la all the bandwidth extend i will say around 260 okay this is not a bad score this is a decent score i think so i think if a person applies some common sense just reads the material don't do any research simple aga ella class attend panni if you attend all my classes just listen to what i say think it over what i have said read the basic material which i give write notes in the class which i am dictating sometimes i will dictate also if you write these notes and read whatever i am telling this is 100% gettable 
but if you do more research 20 marks minus will happen purinchala adu sir bayangaramana research panittana 100 minus 20 mark idu add aagum purinchaliya simple ana strategy follow panningna 260 mark varum 500 la purinchaliya sir na adha vaangi ipdi mudichen idha vaangi thalagila padichena அப்புறம் அதுக்கு தகுந்த மாதிரி மார்க் குறைஞ்சிட்டே போகும் பாத்துக்கோங்க நான் நீங்க சொல்றது நான் நம்ப மாட்டேன் சார் ஐம் நாட் கோயிங் டு பிலீவ் வாட் யூ சே யூ மே ட்ரை ஒன் ஒன் மெயின்ஸ் யூ ட்ரை தென் யூ வில் அந்த லெசன் என்ன பெட்டர் வே புரிஞ்சில்ல ஒரு மெயின்ஸ் எழுதுங்க அப்புறம் நீங்க உங்களது ட்ரை பண்ணுங்க அப்புறம் ஒரு மெயின்ஸ்ல மார்க் குறைஞ்சதுக்கு அப்புறம் திருப்பி வந்து யூ கம் அண்ட் ஃபாலோ வாட் ஐம் சார் புரிதா இல்லையா உங்களுக்கு ஸோ இட் இஸ் வெரி சிம்பிள் மா மார் ஸ்கோரிங் இஸ் பாசிபிள் 260 is a decent score for getting ias 260 is easy that is sufficient for us but what is the advantage sir can we extend this mark to another 30 marks more 260 la you can buy it sir you can buy it in total score this 30 plus marks plus additional 50 mark you can get 260 plus 50 marks in all the gs papers because you are an history student history student irukanal or 50 mark matha paper la vaangradhukku ungalku advantage irukku it may be an essay paper it may be another gs paper paper 1 and everybody history option students don't read paper 1 gs mostly i think konjam geography and society konjam padipaanga but matha vadi edhume avanga padikira maari enak therilla even for preliminary gs they are just neglecting the whole of history because they are doing history as an option correct how much time this option is saving you you please think you are taking one option which is not at all connected to general studies or very less connected to general studies and you are taking a paper which is highly connected to general studies how much time it is relieving you of history option ngranaala mattum general studies padikka vendiya evlo neram neenga miss padutringa yosichu pathingala neenga enakala nalla theriyum many of my students many of my students many of my friends also during the time when i was preparing they used to allot weeks and weeks to other for studying modern india who is not an history student by the way ஹிஸ்ட்ரி எடுக்காத ஆப்ஷன் இல்லாதவன் மாடர்ன் இந்தியா அதை படிக்கிறதுக்காக வார கணக்கில் டைம் அலாட் பண்ணி வச்சுருப்பான் அவன் நான் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஸ்டூடெண்ட் அவன் ஜிஎஸ்க்கு படிச்சு தான் ஆகணும் அதை வேற ஐ அந்த அதர் அண்ட் ஐ ஐ கேன் பி ரிலீவ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் திஸ் டைம்ஸ் ஐ கேன் ஸ்பெண்ட் தோஸ் டைம் இன் சம் அதர் ஏரியாஸ் டு கெட் மோர் மார்க்ஸ் ஆர் ஐ கேன் ஸ்பெண்ட் தோஸ் டைம் டு ஸ்டடி ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஸ் அன் ஆப்ஷன் ஃபர்தர் மோர் அண்ட் கெட் மோர் மார்க்ஸ் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் இஸ் த டைம் டெல்லிங் ஸோ திஸ் ஆர் ஆல் த அட்வான்டேஜஸ் யூ ஆர் ஹேவிங் ஃபார் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஸ் அன் ஆப்ஷன் சப்ஜெக்ட் மா is the option if you take all these advantages okay <clears throat> plus of course you must know i am teaching history for a very long time okay for close to this is 10 years i am teaching history as an option subject 2008 i started to teach 2008 9 lendu na aarambicha 10 varshama varshathuk rendu rendu batch nadithirukken sila time moonu batch la nadithirukken okay weekend regular sila time naalu batch kuda nadithirukken purinchilla so as far as uh, uh, the concern for about whether you can ask any doubt to me or any time you can meet me that is all gone because i am most most of the time available i am available in the institute you can come okay you can uh, you can give your answers i can evaluate all these things can be done second part is that we keep, we keep test more often here in the class okay in the class since the crowd is less it is good for all of us because i can individually see your score and all other things crowd rest agarnal namalukku advantage irukku thana seidhe yes sir no we have an advantage and uh, it is a disadvantage also sometimes because you cannot escape if you miss one hour class or not blend and it is visible for me if uh, some 200 people are present if two three people doesn't come it i can't keep a track of that in the mind but don't you expect that way gs la ngam vechirukka nana puridilla 10th adhigam vandhalum takku na ngam vechiren face na photographic memory irukku so if you don't come a few days immediately it is noted to me history la ninga 10 minutes late a vandala enak therinjirum purincha illa ma adu or advantage enak ungalku disadvantage advantage enak therilla and if you write a test i know what you have written what sentence you have written everything i remember okay so that advantage also we are having so i think these are the things about history as a simple outline purinjilla simple things this is what you have to know in understanding is this an option you have any doubt in this you ask me 
you have any doubt as far as history is concerned in this you can ask me. Sulungma? Any doubt? Which is the toughest part for you in history? People tell me just I want to listen. Toughest part in history long look. Which frightens you in history? Somebody, everybody will have some fear of some subject, no? Nanla subject and the other and fear. Which attracts you towards history? Which frightens you about history? You tell me. I just wanted to know. I'm curious to know. Which attracts you towards history? Which frightens you about history? You are telling me this. Which attracts you towards history? Which frightens you from history? First, first we will discuss about this thing which attracts you. Yeah? Yeah. Tell me. Knowing about your past. Yeah. No, no. Our past. Okay, yeah, it attracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Presently, we have so many problems. So, modern India, we have you no know, that problem is there. Yeah, correct. Okay, okay, anyhow, yeah, you will. Past is connected to the present. Present is connected to the future as well. No? Yes or no? The present is actually hanging between the problems of the past and its vision of the future. That is the present, no. Present is what? An hang. From what is this hanging? Problems of our past and the anticipations of the future. Yes or no? Yeah. Ningama? Why means anything attracts you towards history? Pullama? Why are you talking about understandable. Understandability. Oh, very good. Why So, history and traveling, you are, you are connected. So you are a traveler, so you, you, if it is, oh, so history, traveling are connected, okay, okay, yeah, from the past people you are getting some, uh, based on some stories and all, okay, sometimes movies also help you to take history as an optional. Allow them, no? Demonetization, then uh, this uh, Allow them kill this movie, some movie, no? What movie is this? Admavadi, no? Jod Akbar. One or two people had taken history option after seeing Jod Akbar. <laughs> but there is no history in Jod Akbar or uh, the, uh, this. What movie is Allow them kill this? Padmavad. History and they are slightly apart. But a few people are, uh, uh, I mean, guided, no? The people say, yes, sir, we have taken history. I said, whatever reason you have taken means taken, finished. Okay. You? Why? <laughs> interesting. I understand it is interesting. There should be some reason, no? Oh, educative. Okay, okay. Yeah. Correct. Because history has also helped me in many ways. Because I also am a traveler. I travel a lot. Wherever I go, people teach me, I also teach them something. So, for example, I go to Mamalabram, I went to Mamalabram. Somebody was telling about Pallava rulers and all other connections. Somebody, but some of the facts he was telling wrong. He was he happens to be a local guide. He told some facts wrong. Then I said it is wrong. He said, No, this is the correct fact. Then I told him, I am an history student, I am UPC history student, also I am teaching history. 
he said sir nam polapula mannavari podadinga appo idhe varsham ethanala yaar kuda solli kuduthiruken yaarum kelvi kekkala neenga vandhu en polapula mannavari podradinga ga so normally if you know history there is a possibility that you may enter into argument with some people but history also teaches you not to argue with people because it is it is waste to argue with people who don't know and it is not necessary to argue with people who already know seriyadavanga argue pannadhu velangama pona vishayam therinjavanga argue panna thevaye kedaiyadhu irundha illa ma id is pa independence independence india okay 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 oh because of that also okay that's also fine yeah you people somehow connected okay good yeah Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is going to help you in your career as well. Because the knowledge about this whole subject is going to help you. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Information is power. So you want to gather more information. Oh, war related story. No? No, 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 no. Okay. Something, some, something is attracting. Yeah. Arm with the land, arm with the land. Okay. Okay. That is correct. The story is easy. Is it? No. History is not. His story is not history. That is the first one. Do you know? History means his story. it's not actually a story somebody had the same story to history but it's not story we will discuss about that maybe later okay history and story are quite different but anyhow yeah virpa irukude nammala yaar appdi therinjikano paravalla very good neenga ma utility utility point of view you are seeing is illa ஓ ஏற்கனவே ஸ்கூல்லே படிச்சிட்டீங்க நீங்க ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆமா ஆமா கரெக்டா தான் ஆனா என்ன மரம் நட்டார் அதுல பலவன் சாலியன் படி ஓகே எனி ஹவ் லெட் இட் கோ சோ தி பாயிண்ட் இஸ் யூ ஆல் லைக் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஃபார் சம் ரீசன் வாட் ஃப்ரைடன்ஸ் யூ இப்போ நீங்க சொல்லிட்டீங்களா நீ சொல்லுங்க என்ன சொல்லு யா ஓகே பரவாயில்ல ஒய் சார் சம்திங் யூ ஃபியர் அபவுட் தி சப்ஜெக்ட் யூ டெல் மீ எனி ஃபியர்ஸ் அபவுட் தி சப்ஜெக்ட் ஓகே மெமரி பாயிண்ட் நோ ஃபேக்சுவல்ஸ் யூ ஆர் அஃப்ரைட் ஆஃப் ஃபேக்ட்ஸ் ஓஹோ சம்படி எல்ஸ் நேம்ஸ் அண்ட் இயர்ஸ் யூ ஃபர்கெட் ஓஹோ எவ்ரிபடி இஸ் அஃப்ரைட் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஆர் யூ சம் பீப்பிள் கேன் ரிமெம்பர் ஆல் திஸ் மேப் பயமா இருக்குதா எப்படி மா மேப் பிசி தானே அப்படின்னு நினைக்கிறீங்களா அப்படிலாம் ஒண்ணும் கிடையாது பாப்போம் இஃப் எனிபடி இஸ் அஃப்ரைட் ஆஃப் ஃபேக்ட்ஸ் தெர் கேன் பி நோ படி மோர் அஃப்ரைட் ஆஃப் ஃபேக்ட்ஸ் தென் மீ பட் ஸ்டில் ஐ ரிமெம்பர் சோ மெனி ஃபேக்ட்ஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த சிம்பிள் ரீசன் தட் ஃபேக்ட்ஸ் ஹஸ் டு பி ரிமெம்பர் நாட் ஆஸ் அ ஃபேக்ட்ஸ் ஃபேக்ட்ஸ் ஹஸ் டு பி ரிமெம்பர் ஆஸ் எ கேரக்டர் ஆஃப் எ திங் புரிஞ்சல ஃபேக்ட் ஃபேக்டா படிக்காம or manushan odaya to give a character to a fact either link the fact to the life of an individual or the ruling of a dynasty or to link the events and the facts associated with the development of a major trend ipdi panninga na fact would not be forgotten if you simply read facts as a dry facts you will forget facts you will forget if you read simply dry just you are mugging up data without any understanding about anything you are simply mugging up data so you will forget so facts has to be read as what it has to be read as a feature okay 
But anyhow, we will see that is how we will adopt this method in studying in this class. So, as far as the class is concerned, I am going to go gradually, step by step, as a discussion pattern, I will go. You might not know that I am actually teaching. Some people have said, sir, we do not know. Yeah, anyhow, that is how I wanted to go also. I am not going to dump with any ideas, I am not going to dump with a lot of stuff in any one class. Step by step, you are going to go. Correct. So, is T optional? Fearful thing is facts. Correct for you. Any other fear you got for ST? Few people? Any other thing other than the facts? You? No, where is the Kolapur Gada fact? Fact the Tower, where is the aspect is still a Kolapur Gadan Keta? Any other confusion other than this? Okay. Anyhow, let it go. So, how our uh, classes are going to progress? First, among the four ancient, medieval, modern, I will take up any one part and I will teach. Correct? Then based on, on the class also I will be means giving some questions sometimes. Sometimes I will keep surprise test also. Okay? So normally we will have classes, 4 to 5 classes in a week we will have. 4 to 5 or 4 to 6 classes in a week we will have. Okay? I will tell you the duration and other things. I will tell you how it is going to be. First thing. Secondly, <coughs> you are going to have some test also. In the class you will have some test. I will announce test so you constantly read. Whatever I am, I am telling in the class, you constantly put your mind, apply your mind and read. Thirdly, sometimes it is going to be a class where all the doubts would be cleared. Maybe I will give all the materials. For the materials, I will ask some questions other than what I am teaching. Questions can be asked one from the classes in which I am teaching or the notes I dictate while I am teaching or from the materials where I have given. There will be some areas which will be given in the material. That also I can ask this question from there. So, you read that material also. That will be done. So, this is all one part of teaching. The second part of our uh, understanding about the subject would be after the preliminary, you have to write a continuous and official UPSC pattern test, which consists of 12 tests UPSC pattern. That test which I am speaking right now in the class test is I will give four questions, five questions, one question. Based on your demand, I will give some questions. But that question which I am speaking right now is a model UPSC question, which you will write 12 questions, uh, 12 uh, tests you will write. All these 12 tests will be fully UPSC pattern questions. You will write all 3 hours question, 3 3 hours you have to write the test. Okay. That will be stage 2 of our preparation. Not now. First let us learn something. What is learning and test? Classes is just observing. You are sitting here like a blotting paper. Whatever I speak, you observe. This is class. Test means whatever you observed that you give out is called a test. If you do not observe properly, you are not going to give out properly. Purincha first, upper maximum class la katugno. Test la whatever you learnt, you have to give out. Okay, that you have to give out. Thirdly, that giving out would be perfected in your final before you write the mains examination, everything would be perfected. So, do not you expect that from the day one you will be perfected? No. Gradually, step by step, I am going to take you. From one area to another area, we are going to gradually take you to that area. Then, of course, you will be in you will be learning this. This is how our classes is going to go. You understand this first? Okay. So, we will give more attention. When I will complete the syllabus, we will try to complete the syllabus well in advance. Let us see. Okay, how far we go, how we go. It all depends on your cooperation. And of course, what when you at one point of time, some people will raise up their hands, sir. Preliminary is coming, please stop. I can't read. People, some these people are this uh, this category is also present now because uh, some people will say sir preliminary is uh, different we are reading for mains so the psychological barrier is affecting me my preliminary, preliminary preparation like this people will say so that's why first time starting with world history why i'm taking with world history if i start with ancient india by the time i come to world history you are already in the high mode of your preliminary in the month of let us say february march that time you want to see world history you say this is a main syllabus it is affecting my preliminary preparation, so you will not touch. First, what I will do is I will take up world history. Now you have some free mind, you are not fearful about the preliminary. So we will cover this one part a bit uh, sufficiently well. Okay. Then maybe we will enter into whichever part is required for us that we will enter. Ma, you understand what is that I am speaking? Purincha, sorry, ma, in the report. So any doubt before I enter into this first part? Okay. First, now I will enter into world history.
World history. So this is the most feared part of the history options actually. It is the most feared part. It is the most feared part because not many people read it because it is world history they used to say. Other people they say Indian history, world history, world history. If you say it, you are afraid. Do you say it? Indian history is not India and India is not easy to learn about India. World history is not easy to learn about a geographical time. Oh, you can learn about the world history. Wrongly, many people think that world history means studying about all history associated with the world. Many people think like this. People think that world history is what? World history is studying about the whole world from ancient India to modern India. For example, America. In ancient India, America and the medieval India, America and modern India, then South America and ancient India, medieval India, modern India, then Europe, ancient medieval modern, then Africa, Abraham, Australia, Abraham, 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 Greek civilization, Roman civilization, Abraham, 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 Nowadays, they, in choosing the options, everybody plays a vital role, I am thinking. I was uh, for a very long time having a false image that the students decide the options. I decided myself that students normally decide the options. Because I thought the students are the people who study UPSC preparation. They are the people who will study the options. They will be the people who decide the options. Students are intelligent. They have to choose their optionals. So they will do some research. And they will decide the optionals. Until at one point of time, one, one parent came to me and told me, Sir, you see, this girl wants to, my daughter wants to study history. Please, you tell, Sir. What do you want me to tell? Sir, world is seen. Sir, what do you want me to tell? Sir, what do you want me to tell? Sir, what do you want me to tell? Sir, how big you think it is? Sir, how can you remember the whole world history? So, we can't remember. Ask her to change her mind. Okay. But we cannot be explaining these things to the parents. Because the biggest problem is they, he is telling me world history means our world history. He should have studied something you must know. For information, I also studied world history more than what the UPSC syllabus is telling. My, my majors is in history. You must know I have done my MA history. You people know or no? Okay. I have done BSc Physics, MA History. You must know. So in MA History, there is a World History paper in the second year. That World History paper and the UPSC World History paper both are different. The UPSC World History, I will tell you what the UPSC World History is. But the Master's Degree World History is different. It speaks about the ancient World History. It speaks about the Roman Civilization, then the Mesopotamians, all this uh, whole Iranian, Persian, all it is all different. Okay, Greek, all there, this all civilization we are studying, that is all different. But UPC, whatever when it says world history, it is also different. UPC world history means only one thing. Most UPC syllabus is restricted to Europe, mostly Europe. But of course, we will have Asia also covered. Europe starting from 1600s to 1990s. If I have to specify Europe plus, of course, some part of Africa. But if I furthermore focus the syllabus, it is not even, even also Africa. It is whole of Europe. It is not even 1600s. It is 1700s to 1990s. If I furthermore go deep, it is not even 1700s. It is 1789 to 1990s. So, 1789, 1889, 1989. It is approximately 200 years of history. Ma. 200 years of history 
of one simple continent which is Europe. 200 years of history of one simple continent which is called Europe. Okay. So, what are the topics which you are going to study? What are the topics which are mostly covered in the world history if you see? Let us see these topics in the world history. Okay. What are the topics we will cover in the world history? Okay. Just I am going to start with the one is French Revolution. French Revolution. Okay. Then in this French Revolution, I am going to speak about causes, course. Okay. Then I am going to speak about Napoleon, rise, fall. Napoleon, his rise, fall. And I am going to discuss about why, what, what not for all. For every topic, I will discuss about why, what, what not. Okay. Then, of course, after the fall of Napoleon, I am going to speak about uh, Treaty of Vienna, Treaty of Vienna 1815, Treaty of Vienna 1815, I will speak about this Treaty of Vienna and problems of the Treaty of Vienna, I am going to speak about the problems of the Treaty of Vienna. Treaty of Vienna, what are the problems, how it was signed, what is the problem of this treaty, that I am going to speak about the Treaty of Vienna. Next. I am going to speak about uh, unifications, unifications of Italy, unifications of Germany, unifications of Italy, Germany. Again, who, how, consequence, who, how, consequence. Unificator of Italy, Italy, Germany, etc. Then I will speak about what is called as a rise of nationalism, which is an aggressive nationalism. Rise of aggressive nationalism. I will elaborate on this. What is the reason of this rise of aggressive nationalism? And also, I will speak in this process about an important personality who is called Bismarck. Bismarck, Bismarck, and then I will speak about Bismarck's policy of blood and iron, blood and iron, etc. Then and here in the Italian unification, I will speak about all the other also, Italy, Mazzini, Garibaldi, etc. Okay, I will speak about all these people. Mazzini, Garibaldi, the whole lot, I will be speaking about them. Okay, I am going to speak about the similarities, dissimilarities of this process of the unification of Italy and Germany. I will speak about similarities, dissimilarities about the unification of Germany, Italy, etc. Then I will be speaking about, let us say, I will be speaking about after this unification, then I will be speaking about World War I. Causes, consequences, causes, consequences. Then I will speak about Treaty of Versailles, Versailles, Treaty of Versailles. I will speak about again impact. Then in this also in the Treaty of Versailles impact, how, what impact it created, etc. Then I will speak about after the Treaty of Versailles, what happened, uh, which is called uh, World War II. Again, causes, consequences, I will speak about World War II. Causes, consequences in the World War II. <coughs> okay. Then here I will be speaking about Hitler, his rise. Nazism, 
fascism fascism mussolini all aspects i will be speaking okay nazism fascism mussolini then after that i will be speaking about end of world war 1 sorry world war 2 end of world war 2 then beginning of cold war cold war i'll speak about the period of cold war cold war i will speak about period from 1945 to 1991 i'll speak about the whole developments in the cold war the whole big aspect of how it progressed 1945 to 1991 what are the aspects of the cold war how it developed what is the development in the whole of europe etc this is a major trend so starting from the french revolution here which is in 1789 to end of the cold war in 1991 this is a whole trend 1789 to 1991 you understand this amongst this i'll also be speaking about some other topics other than this i'll be speaking about topics like let us say <clears throat> american revolution american revolution okay what why impact american revolution then i'll be speaking about american civil war american civil war okay again all aspects i'll be speaking about in american civil war also for example abraham lincoln i'll also speak about america's policy in 1900s to 1945 just one small topic america 1900 to 1945 i'll be speaking okay then here i'll speak about great depression once it was asked as a question great depression why how reform revival recovery everything will speak about this great depression all aspects will be doing here great depression after this completion of america i'll jump to something which is called russia russian revolution russian revolution russian revolution again what why all factors i'll discuss about the russian revolution impact consequences then i'll speak about this revolution chinese revolution i'm going to develop uh, cover the developments of china starting from 1900s to 1945 not 1945 1949 i will cover chinese solution okay then i'm going to speak about uh, let us say industrial revolution industrial revolution what's an industrial revolution causes consequences okay causes consequences industrial revolution causes consequences whole lot i'm going to cover causes consequences and reformation reformation reformations then i will speak about what is called as and <clears throat> i'm going to speak about renaissance and reformation renaissance and reformation 
R A N A S S A N C Renaissance and Reformation. What is Renaissance? What is Reformation? Then maybe I'll speak about some other topics, which included, which is called, I mean, apartheid, apartheid policy in Africa. Then I'll speak about Middle East, Middle East crisis, Middle East crisis. For example. Egypt, Israel, then Arabia, all this whole together. I'll speak about the Suez Canal, Suez crisis. Okay, development in the Middle East. Some I will cover. Some topics I will cover. Okay, Suez crisis. Which year is this? Suez crisis. Nineteen fifty-six. I'll cover out all this. Okay, all the Suez crisis. This will be covered. Are we understanding this? So, if you take any question paper in the past, so if you analyze the questions, questions have come only from here. Maximum of the questions have come from here. Of course, you have topics like globalization and all. But globalization and all, it's a GS topic, common topic anybody can do. Of course, if you want some points, I can give about the globalization, European Union. All this is a GS topic, which is also added in the history optional syllabus. History optional syllabus they had it not only in GS political science topic alone add for it now, but that is not our big concern to us because we are anyhow going to read all this European Union globalization. Okay, you you read all this or what? GS general studies la padi giring lama European Union formation and other things. Anyhow, the whole thing if you read, this is called world history ma. If the customer easy ma. How do you? It looks tough or easy? See, but slightly tough or easy? How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel this whole of world history? See, but is there overall view? Can you give it? Research there is. Who does that? Oh my God! Okay. So first, we'll we'll begin with world history. Our timings of the world history will be every day around 5:30 to 7:30. Every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday will be free. Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Thursday will be not we will not have class. If you want, I can ask you to come Thursday also. Inshallah, ma. Number four is the part we will be doing class. First, I think you are having some other class, no? What class is? Oh, oh, my God! So, any kind of you guys, you guys, you guys, all are not here today, Kacheri. Sir, you are wrong. My history here is the easiest subject history that you guys know. It is one of the most easiest of all subjects. I am telling you frankly, if you just understand it once, you will not forget it. I am most comfortable only in history optional class. You should be knowing this. So, this is history optional class. I am going to give you a home pitch. My feeling is that home pitch is not very difficult. You guys, six hundred degrees. You end the ball board alone, hundred degrees. Young girl, you want to do something different. You end the question. You want to do something different. I am going to give you a comfort zone history optional class. You guys, of course, I am handling geography option also. அது ஒரு ஃபாரின் பிச் மாதிரி ஒரு ஃபீலிங் இருக்குது அங்கேயும் பெர்ஃபார்ம் பண்ணணும் அங்கேயும் பெர்ஃபார்ம் பண்ணலாம் பட் அது அப்ராட் அது பிச்சு அது ஆஸ்திரேலியன் பிச் மாதிரி தோணுது எனக்கு புரிஞ்சு இல்லை இது ஹோம் பிச் எனக்கு எந்த பால் எப்படி போட்டாலும் அடி பிச்சு விளாட்டுற மாதிரி எனக்கு ஒரு ஃபீலிங் வந்துடுது அதனால ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆப்ஷனை பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் இட் இஸ் நாட் அ பிக் டீல் ஓகே யூ லீவ் த ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆப்ஷன் டு மீ அட்டன் மை கிளாஸஸ் ரெகுலர்லி ஓகே ஜஸ்ட் யூ ஹூ டூ ஒன்லி ஒன் திங் யூ ஷுட் பி ரெடி அண்ட் சப்ஜெக்டட் டு The conditions in the class. Don't come with any prior, preconceived notions about. This. Don't come with uh, any filled ideas for this history class. On the side, come here with tapunas. Come here with thought. Don't come here with some ideas already fixed in your mind. Mind le, ye do nanistri ningla, ye do karpana orga thala ni mandra dinga. Kunchu kora pamar ganam bolga the. Free dilla? Ha? Purincha. Randa ho the. கொஞ்சம் எழுதுறதுக்கும் தயாராக வாங்க கிளாஸ்ல 
ओके कुछ पेस विलेट समिंग समिंगेट समिंग सो बी प्रिपेर्ड फॉर एवरी थिंग ओके फॉर दट आलो यू बी प्रिपेर्ड बिकॉज दिस हिस्ट्री मीन ऑप्शनल क्लास इज एन होलिस्टिक प्रिपरेशन वेर आई टीच वेर समटाइम्स आई आस्क यू क्वेश्चन वेर यू इंटरेक्ट ऑल दिस थिंग्स हैव टू हैपन अदरवाइज यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू लर्न एनीथिंग आउट ऑफ दिस यू अंडरस्टैंड विद दिस एनी हाउ लेट इट गो सो हैविंग सेड ऑल दिस सो जस्ट आई विल टेक वन स्मॉल पार्ट टुडे जस्ट सम 5 10 मिनट्स आई विल स्पीक अबाउट द पार्ट ओके वर्ल्ड डिजिटल एडिकेटिव बदिंग ना एक टॉपिक रिपीट आई इट दे रशियन रेवोल्यूशन अमेरिकन रेवोल्यूशन फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन चाइनीस रेवोल्यूशन इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन Revolution, revolution, and the day of the Lama. You know all these revolutions. So today I will speak. What is the meaning of revolution? That will be sufficient for us. Okay, you got this point. Is the revolution of the Pathing like that? Jar will be born. Angabat the revolution of the earth will be no topic. Right? Papa, le? That is the number revolve by Romari. Okay. What is this revolution? When I say revolution, revolution, what revolution are we meaning actually? When I say revolution, what is the meaning? Okay. What do you what do you understand by the word revolution? I am asking you. Structural change. Okay. Something else. First in history, there is no one answer. First you remember. This is another uh, thing about history option which you should know. History option will ask us many correct answers. And many wrong answers also. At the subject level, correct answer one number go. For instance, if quality level question is there, fundamental rights, right to equality, all that, na, all of them are one answer. All of them. Is still a problem. At the very first answer, all of them. For instance, yeah, yeah, na, is still one thing. No problem. Yes, sir. For instance, one thing, in the first one answer, all of them. That is question. Go. Other two questions, other answer, all of them. Is still. ஏன்னு கேட்டா சார் எனக்கு போன வருஷம் புரியாம இருந்துச்சு இப்ப ரொம்ப புரிஞ்சிச்சு சார்மா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் உங்களுக்கு இது புரிஞ்சா இல்லையா சோ அதனால ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆப்ஷன் சப்ஜெக்ட் பட் இவால்விங் நேச்சர் சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் பட் யூ எவால்வ் ஓவர் பீரியட் ஆஃப் டைம் ரீடிங் தி சப்ஜெக்ட் சோ யூ ஆர் நாட் த சேம் சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் சேம் பட் வேர் எஸ் அதர் சப்ஜெக்ட் யூ ஆர் சேம் சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் இவால்விங் You got this point. Matte subject, subject evolve ago. Ninge evolve ama dinga. Istilas subject static ar ko. Ninge evolve ay dinga. Apo pono varsa Indus Valley Civilization ko kon answer ildar to ko. Inda varsa Indus Valley Civilization ko ninge na answer ildar dinga. Perceptional differences ko. Puri dilay. The better you understand, the clearer you understand, the simpler you give the output. more mark you score did illa when the value of me will be increased in your mind i am giving a simple thing relevance of me will be no time progress in the up preparation i'll be more relevant to you tomorrow than today and i'll be more relevant to you after 3 months than now i'll be more relevant to you after 1 year from now after the 3 months kapra enna relevant adoda relevance therikanum oru main seldinina இன்னும் என்னோட ரிலன்ஸ் அதிகமாக போயிடும் உங்களுக்கு மூணு மெயின் செஞ்சிட்டீங்க அவ்வளோதான் வீட்டில் வந்து உட்காந்துருக்கீங்க பிரிஞ்சா இல்லையா எப்படி பிகாஸ் த மோர் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் அபவுட் த சப்ஜெக்ட் தன் யூ வில் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் ஐ ஸ்பீக் ஹஸ் காட் வாட் மீனிங்ஸ் அண்ட் வாட் ராம்பிகேஷன்ஸ் ஐம் ஸ்பீக்கிங் பட் அதர்வைஸ் வென் யூ டோன்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த சப்ஜெக்ட் யூ மே திங்க் தட் ஐம் ஸ்பீக்கிங் சம்திங் விச் இஸ் ஆஃப் வெரி சூப்பர்ஃபிஷியல் லெவல் அவுட் வேர்ட் லெவல் டு த சப்ஜெக்ட் யூ வில் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தட் எவ்ரி ஃபார்ம் விச் ஐம் யூசிங் எவ்ரி கனெக்ஷன் விச் ஐ மேக் has got very rooted meaning yeah what is evolution you tell me this people's rise no people rise to change something okay somebody else people start questioning the problems yeah they are facing some problems they question yeah There's also all correct here. Yeah, somebody else. What is the revolution? Mass reaction. It's a mass movement. No. Okay. Somebody else. 
they question the very system. Okay, you ask the question into the system. Why this all this? No, yeah. Somebody else? My name. All that na revolution. See, revolution is a sudden, drastic change. It is a sudden. It is a drastic change. Revolution. It is a sudden, drastic change. Often involving violence. Often involving violence, but not always involving violence. It often involves violence, but the violence is not always. Not always. Revolutions can be of many types. You must know. It can be of many types. Revolutions. Most revolutions are political in nature. They are political revolutions. Political. Which affect the very structure of the existing system. Which affect the very structure of the existing system. Very structure of the existing system. But there are some revolutions which are economical as well. There are some revolutions which are economical as well. For example, industrial revolution. Where is the violence in the industrial revolution? In the violence, there is danga. French revolution, no violence there is there. Russian revolution is accompanied by violence. Chinese revolution, we have violence. Industrial revolution. For example, in India, we have something which is called a white revolution. White revolution, green revolution. Revolution, the term denotes that sudden drastic change. But not necessarily all the revolutions should involve violence. <coughs> not necessarily that all the revolutions should involve violence. There should be a reason why people should revolt. People should do revolution. Why they should? Why should they re revolt? Means revol revolt against the existing system. The simple reason is that the existing system had outlived its utility. The existing system had outlived its utility. It has got a utility. The existing system it had outlived its utility. The existing system had become exploitative. The existing system had become exploitative. The existing system is out of time, out of touch of the masses. The existing system is out of time and out of touch of the masses. Out of time, out of touch of the masses. Revolution occurs due to aspirations of the people in the future. Aspirations. They aspire something in the future. That's why they revolt. Not only that, they do not like the existing system, but also they aspire something new. <coughs> aspire something new. Revolutions occur because people aspire something which is new. Revolutions, revolutions destroy the very system. Destroy the very system. Destroy the very system. So, revolutions happen because people are tired of the old system. Revolutions happen because people are tired. The old system had outlived. Old system had outlived. And revolutions happen only if people are willing to sacrifice. Only if people are willing to sacrifice. They are present for the future. Willingness to sacrifice the present 
for the future. Why revolution is not happening in India? I have read revolution, American revolution, French revolution, Chinese revolution. Everywhere revolution had happened. Indian revolution is not happening in India. Indian is not world is not Indian revolution. Why? There is no revolution in India. A revolution is there, we did not take a note of it, or there is no revolution at all. What revolution is this? See, revolution has to be revolution has to be sudden. It is not gradual. If it is gradual, it is called a change. British came to India. They exploited us, then we took 100 years to know that they are exploiting, then we took another 80 years to gradually chase the British away. This is not revolution, this is change. Revolution is sudden, outburst. Short period of time. Revolution. Or internal revolution. You know the meaning of an internal revolution? Internal revolution is actually enlightenment. Internal revolution means enlightenment. Internally, a revolution is happening. Suddenly, you come to understand many things. Suddenly, you, you see yourself, utterly stupidity of yourself, you see. The deal is normal. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. That is the internal revolution. Change is not there. Change is first. You can see it. You can see it. Then you begin to wash your hands. Then you begin to wash your body. This is change. Revolution means you jump into the river. That moment itself to purify yourself. So in India, what you are telling us, the freedom movement is not a revolution, by the way. Freedom movement is uh, the awareness of the Indians to fight against the existing Britishers. Voluntary or compulsory, which is a big question. They left. Vinchalyama. Revolution na poorathom. Oru vidhi purguna revolution la. Nigi boy nigu revolution na dagda na nigi nigu dumma agno. Adna revolution. Kunchu kunchu maan na dagda dikvere revolution kare adma. Purinchaliya. Why revolution is not happening in India? You tell me. I'm surprised. Why? That is terrorism. Revolutionary terrorist is not a revolution. The terrorists were revolutionary in their idea. They did not create any revolution. They were terrorists. They had revolutionary ideas. No, the impact is felt by four or five people. That is not revolution. Where is the system being changed? Did they change the system? For example, in all these revolutions, system got changed. In India, I am asking where is the revolution? Indians are not fit to revolt, no? Since we had no other revolution, some people call the Putin movement as a revolution. They called it an August revolution. I won't accept this. Because it happened on the August, people said it is an August revolution. We never had any revolutions. I don't know. I have, to, I have never studied history under any proper uh, historian actually. My history is a result of my understanding about things around my own reading, my own travel, and my own understanding about things. So, in case if I meet any great historian, I want to know why there is no revolution. But I have, I have a reason also. Out of my understanding, I know that there is a reason. But I am asking you whether you know the reason or not. What about this Chinese society, Russian society? Did they, after education, did they revolt? See, in India, so they don't revolt. It is very simple, ma. You may not have to think very deeply about Indians. They are very shallow people.
Revolt. Why not? Why don't the Tamilians revolt? Forget about the whole of India. Tamil revolt. Any Tamil revolution is there? Punjabi revolution. Punjabi Tanduri revolution is there, I think. I don't know. There is one reason, simple reason. Indians are highly fatalistic people, except a few. Religious revolutions have happened in India. For example, Buddhism itself is a revolution. You should be knowing. Buddhism, Jainism, all these were religious revolutions. But other than which are happening in India, largely people are fatalistic in nature. They believed in fate. They think that everything is a result of what is already destined for them. They, they believe in destiny. So if somebody is suffering, if some society in the which they are existing is enslaved, they believe it is because of something else, not because of us. French Revolution happened because people felt very angry. They can't tolerate the misrule of the rulers. They wanted to oppose, they wanted to revolt. Yes, sir, but India is in a condition. Yes, sir, what do we do? 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 It has become his apathy. It helpless, his helplessness. Indian's field is helpless. What I can do? Everything is already predetermined. Even if I revolt anything, no change is going to come. So this mindset for a very, very long time had percolated into the Indian psyche. This is what I think is a very important reason. Okay. Today also people, what do they say? If people are suffering because of their own self, if you ask them why are you suffering, what are they telling? They say, this is how things are, it's all, it's in all written in our head. Vidin Sulranala. Jadam Abdinger, the French people, Elji Chirkana. Among the government, Jadam Elji Chirkana, and get French people. So long, number the number, Yenada, and Nakapo, the Elji Chirkana, Lia. If I am suffering, I will revolt only if I think that my actions and my consequences are linked. Then I will revolt. If I think that if there is a problem, I am an active person to solve this problem means I will revolt. But if I think that if there is a problem, it is because of something else, I am not responsible for it. Then why I should revolt? You understand? The Indians feel that revolution is not happening because it is all already existing. Fatalistic. Secondly, Indians for a very long time have been non-violent people by nature. They are not indulging except by some rulers who indulge in war and all other aspects. Largely, the society was peaceful and they accept the norm and they are happy with the norm. If there is no rainfall, they say, okay, God, this is how it is. They adopt. Revolution would happen only if you want a change. Indians are happy with status quo. I want to change it. Revolution is not a revolution. Martyr the Grimidana change. Revolution is because he wants a change. Do you think any Indian wants a change now? He is happy with things, how it is going. So, in India, there can be no revolution. And I am thinking in future also there will be no revolution. Because, third aspect there, Indians want sacrifice. Few Indians may sacrifice. Largely, Indians they say, why, why I should do something? How I can escape from the suffering that he is thinking? How me and my family can escape from a suffering which is not thinking about the common good largely. There are some Indians who think about common good, largely the society as a whole. You understand? The whole French people they revolted, Americans they revolted, Chinese they revolted, Indians they said, okay, some people, even a British historian is giving some statistics, amazing statistics, but I don't accept this as a whole. He is telling the national movement itself is not a mass movement. People fought, no, they are selfless. In sacrifice, they have done people. But he is comparing with only one parameter. The percentage of the people, of the total percentage of the Indians participated in the national movement, you will be surprised to know the ratio is very small. Lachamber Rinama Parsit Pana, Activa Parsit Pana, Randal Lachamber Parsit Pana, Napa the Godi Peregra, other Randal Lachamber the Enthric Pata. Revolution every Nadagna. I remember the revolution. 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 So, this is my understanding that 
revolution has not happened because of this one or two fundamental reasons. But sir, in the future, will it be like this? I do not know who knows about the future. Okay, of course, we have white revolution, green revolution, the revolution, internal revolution in India and another people. Some thinkers, internal revolution. The India is the one country which has got the most so called enlightened people in the world. No? Yes, sir, no. In every every village, every city, don't we have enlightened people? You go to Bangalore, we have Nityananda. You go to Goimtur, we have Satku. You go to North India, we have Asharam Bapu. Then you go to there, then, then you have another yogi, uh, Mahesh yogi, that yogi. This. So, it's all internal revolutions. Okay. But if this revolution, internal revolution, if there is any parameter to measure, then they all will fail. But there is no parameter to measure. For the external revolution, there is a parameter to measure. For internal revolution, there is no parameter to measure. Okay. So, whatever it is, in India, there has been no revolution, at least to my knowledge. And I do not think in the future is there is going to be any revolution. But the future may change, I do not know. Okay. This is what is called a revolution. So, our first topic, which is going to be French Revolution. That means the revolution happened in France. Which year it happened? 1789. So, the French Revolution happened in 1789. Why? We will discuss. French Revolution happened in 1789. Why? We will discuss. Not today. Sufficient for us today. Okay. So, tomorrow we will arrive. Our first topic is going to be French Revolution. Why? How? These things we will discuss. Tomorrow we will discuss about the French Revolution. Causes, consequences, what happened. Then if possible, we will bring Napoleon in tomorrow. If possible. Pridula, any doubt if you have, you can ask me. Any doubt if you have? Ma? Any doubt you are having? Irka? Some people are present there also, they can ask me some doubts on the video, some people. Okay. Three to five is modern India. Place, same place. Okay. This, those people who have not attended me modern Indian class so far. Some people are already attended, I think. Okay. You have to attend from three to five. When? In a week, two days only. Rest of the days in a week, we will have 5.30 to 7.30 class. What about 7.45, we will have classes. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Friday, four days we'll have 5:30 to 7:30 class. This four classes we'll have, plus two more classes we'll have on 3 to 5. 3 to 5. When I will tell you when 3 to 5 class is there, of course we'll have class also sometimes 5 to 5:30 to 7 also. So sometimes you prepare to attend two two classes a day. Okay, two days in a week you have to attend these two classes. Okay, so I will communicate to you when you have to attend these two classes. I will send a WhatsApp message. First I will create a group. Okay, I will put you all people in, then I will tell you when is the modern Indian class. Timings also will tell. Okay, somebody please write your names and give me in a WhatsApp so that I will add you in the WhatsApp. Pridula, any doubt you have got? You directly come here because we will we'll continue from here only. Okay, not necessary to go, we will we'll start in afternoon. No, you do not waste your time running there. Other also, inform your people. Not necessarily, we will continue here. Pridula, Angana, you will slow, I will not teach slowly, I will go a bit fast. Moreover, there more story, less analysis. Here, more analysis, less story. GS option can have TSO. GS class interesting are gone. Optional class, conjo analysis, analysis are gone. Yedu Mulugmano, interesting are gone. But uh, Mark is there, there will be. There was an So, you note down my number. 
okay everybody you send me a whatsapp today okay say that uh, sir i am uh, uh, i am history option student what under the class here whose number is not with me some people have already added in some group okay and the group la illadunga enak message anupunga we will send this number to you you understand this so tomorrow we are having the 3 to 5 class modern india tomorrow we are having 3 to 5 class for all those people okay modern indian class same place மூணுல இருந்து அஞ்சு வரைக்கும் என்னோட கிளாஸ் தான் லெட் மி கன்ஃபார்ம் இட் ஒன்ஸ் ஸோ பி ரெடி ஃபார் டூ கிளாஸஸ் இன் எ வீக் த்ரீ டு ஃபைவ் tomorrow you are having ma you come if there is any doubt any confusion